Well, good morning, my Scorpios. Happy Tuesday. Um, yeah, I know. I, I um, Usually you guys are Monday. Everything's getting shifted by one day this week. But happy Tuesday. We are here. We are doing your reading. I am, of course, you guys were my highest viewed sign last week. Um, so you did have a bonus reading. I am doing that again this weekend. Um, the highest, top three highest viewed signs I'm doing bonus readings. I'm also going to do a New Year's reading. Isn't that Friday night? Yes. Happy pre-New Year's. But I'm also doing Oracle cards this week. And this is um, Queen of the Moon Oracle, I believe it's called, the Oracle deck I'm using. So I shuffled and shuffled and a whole bunch of cards fell out for you. And I was drawn just for the top is boundaries. And it makes sense when I was shuffling your energy, I kept seeing your King of Cups upright. I kept seeing judgment card. I kept seeing um, the world, like all these endings and beginnings, endings and beginnings. Um, and it's fi like final. So then we have at the bottom of the deck it ends up staying on a Queen of Wands on the on the um, main deck and an Ace of Wands on the clarifying deck. So yeah, you're in a new beginning. the The Queen of Wands to me, and look at that, the Queen of Cups. The Queen of Wands to me is the hustler of the deck. She she's you know she does what she says she's going to do, but often she doesn't even talk about it because she's too busy doing. She's making the best life possible. Very charismatic, attractive energy. And the reason why I personally feel you're in this queen of wands state is because of this. It is boundaries. This is all about judgment. And I kept seeing the judgment card. And this is about judging what is no longer needs to be in your life and judging who does. This is about putting healthy boundaries around your energy. So the unhealthy boundaries aren't, it's not like a weight to your ankles holding you back in the past, holding you back from living your best life. Because... Truly, we judge things every day. When you go to the store and you pick out a detergent or a milk, you judge, this is the brand I want. This is the store I'm shopping at. There's good judgment and bad judgment. You know, just like slavery, people judge and say this was bad. So it, it was banished, wailing. There's all kinds of things we judge to our benefit. But I feel like you need to also do some judging on the people who really have been holding you back. So maybe you're a Scorpio right now who's just wanting to be uplifted. You might be watching good movies that uplift your soul. You might be talking to people who up, uplift your soul and make you laugh. And you might be putting on the back burner the people who pull you down. You know, the people you have to work at having that relationship. You might have a an inv invitation at Christmas time or something to come to an event and you're just like, Ugh, you have to like talk yourself into it. This is a Scorpio saying, you know, if I had to talk myself into it, I'm quickly getting out of it. So yes, I think you're, you are erecting some healthy and strong boundaries. Let's get to this Scorpio. Now, this may be the message continuing. This might be a message in itself for a Scorpio or somebody dealing with a Scorpio out there um, that's saying, yeah, that sounds about right. And well, there you go. All right, general energy for my Scorpios. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Scorpio. This is for Scorpios. If you know a Scorpio, feel like you're a Scorpio. Hey, Scorpio, this is for you. The reason why I say that, guys, because I see it in the comments, is let's say you are a Libra. Let's say you are a Virgo. Let's say you're an Aquarius dealing with Scorpio, and you watch this, and you're like, this sounds like my story, but reversed. So usually the tarot readings are for the people who are more woke. I don't know how else to say that. Usually the people that the tarot re readings are about, they're not, they're not watching it. Their energy isn't here. It's the people, either you are the Scorpio or you're dealing with the Scorpio. So that's why it can be confusing. That's why you could feel like, well, I didn't do the Scorpio wrong. You see how energy works. So you have to keep an open mind. Also do not make a story fit if it's not yours. Don't do that either. Always go by the titles. All right, general energy for my Scorpios. One more. One more. General energy for my Scorpios. Okay, that feels good. General energy for my Scorpios. General energy for the Scorpios. Judgment reverse. Isn't that interesting? When you know something is unhealthy and you can't leave it behind. Now, this could be somebody dealing with you. Keep that in mind. You could be doing something toxic in your environment or having somebody in your environment that you're just not willing to let go of. What is influencing the judgment reverse? What's influencing the judgment reverse? The, I kept seeing this upright, King of Cups. King of Cups is somebody who's very emotionally balanced, who gives 
and gives and gives. What I feel like is you maybe overgave and you got you you under received in a certain situation. This could it, and guys, it doesn't always even have to be about love. This could be in career. This could be in family. It's it's whatever you overgive to and you get very little back. And maybe you think if you give enough, you're gonna get this person to have a rebirth in seeing you a different way. For some of you, you're trying to you're trying to love someone enough for both of you. That that might be somebody out there. There's all kinds of reasons why we overgive, you know. But if you're not getting back at least what you're putting in, you might need to set some boundaries around this. What is the reason for the reading, Scorpio? What's the reason for the reading? Why are we all here today, kids? What is it? And the Ten of Wands, it's a burden though. It's, it's a burden to, to pretend that this person cares when they may not care as much as you care. It's a burden to constantly have to give and make excuses why. And to tell yourself just so you can hang in there that, well, you know, they're gonna leave their spouse or you know, they're gonna promote me. Uh, they're just busy, you know, it, it, it's, they work a lot or, you know, it's kind of like the excuses we might tell ourselves to hang in there and give ourselves false hope. Whatever this is, not letting this go is a burden, Sagittarius energy. What's in the past, Scorpio? What's in the past? And the Queen of Pentacles, the all around uh, do good queen. She can run a business, run a home, takes care of animals, takes care of children, takes care of herself. And I feel like this could be your energy. That that could be your energy. I actually, I'm getting both. I feel like this could be your energy and be, because you can do it and because you're stable, you're over giving to a situation that is not at your level. That's for some of you out there. But I also feel like maybe this is who, maybe you're, you're Scorpio trying to obtain somebody who is very work focused, who does have all, all, it's, all of it together. For, but for some reason, let's keep going. It'll, it'll clarify itself here. What's on your mind? If it's in my head, I have to say it. What's what's on your mind, Scorpio? What is on your mind? And the five of cups reverse, possibly needing to let this go. It's like, how long can you focus on not getting something back? How long can you be sad about something? How long can you not turn around and see you have fresh new love behind you? If this person's not sh showing up to fill those cups or help you pick those cups up, it's time to turn around and I think that might be what you're doing. What is in the near future? What is in the near future? What's coming in the near future? And the Knight of Swords reverse. I like that. Cutting off an, the energy source. Seeing it for what it is. I feel like for this to happen, this judgment card is going to be upright. Knight of Wands reverse and the Nine of Pentacles reverse. This person's holding you back, draining your energy, hopefully not draining your money because energy and love is enough. But just like this Queen of Pentacles, Scorpio, I feel like that that is you Capricorn energy. I, this is the Minor Arcana card of the Empress card. I guess the question is, is, you know, and some people, this is true. There are many people who are really good with work. They're really good with money because like a queen of pentacles is. They're really good with themselves like a king of cups is. But when it comes to relationships, they just tend to pick people or, or attract people who are so far beneath them where they have a lot of growing up to do. Or, you know, it's just not at that same level. But what I like about that is six of pentacles, ace of cups reverse, and the ten of cups. And I did keep seeing the Ten of Pentacles upright. And there's at the bottom of the deck, it's reversed. But I feel like, I mean, actually, this, this, this is exactly what I've been saying. I feel like you keep giving. When it comes to receiving, you're down here waiting for this person to come around to throw you breadcrumbs. This, this is, I'm sorry, it's a breadcrumbing card. I'm sorry, Taurus, it is. But what you really want is their love. You want their only cup. But you'll take what you can get for now. Because this is what you want with this person, the Ten of Cups. That's what you want with this person. The problem is, is the longer you hold in there in this judgment reverse, the more it's exhausting, it's draining. You could have started out as a Queen of Pentacles. And then you're like, I have so much love for this person, King of Cups. 
but you're just waiting for this person maybe to turn around and see see you on your mind is a five of cups reverse but i'm kind of feeling them too you're you might be holding in there waiting for them to turn around and see how see your value see what a great catch you are to stop for them to stop focusing on a past person and to say you know what scorpio i'm done with that past person let's go but i feel like the longer you hold in there you could this could be 10 months some of you could be 10 years the longer you hold in there that's the nine of pentacles reverse so you were queen of pentacles upright you were queen of, king of cups upright but if you hang in there it's a nine of pentacles reverse that is complete draining that's kind of losing yourself in a situation that that's just not it, i'm not getting player vibes i'm getting for some reason this person isn't stepping up i'm not even getting this person that much in this reading it, i mean just slightly on each card but this is i think a scorpio that's a, that needs to wake up and say you know what this probably could be the right person wrong time so what i need to do is cut the supply off here go into the ace of wands here get my balance back put my focus back into work put my heart back up on the sh not on the shelf but available because either a something better is going to come along which i feel more fitting to who you are and and to honor your needs or this person will finally stop focusing on what's lost for them and and turn around and say oh hey scorpio there you are you know either way it's a win-win for you guys to not hold on to it okay and look at that for some reason i shuffled i love this high priestess reverse we have a chariot you moving on right high priestess reverse is noticing the 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 red signs okay noticing the red signs the red flags the signs and the red flags i should say like that that maybe you might have been, gosh, I'm really not getting player. And some of you, it could be a player, but Seven of Swords reverses is really realizing what's been going on. Maybe somebody likes the attention you give them, likes the time you carve out, likes what you do for them, but they don't really have intention of giving it back. That's kind of this, this is the Aquarius card, okay? Sorry, Aquarius. Taurus and Aquarius, you guys just, you just have it. And the Nine of Wands and the Ace of Pentacles is you stop reserving see how this guy the nine of wands is don't give up now but how i see it there's eight wands behind him sagittarius card and he as he holds on to an ace of wands which is over here he's holding on to an ace of wands reserving his energy to probably get out of this situation to shoot forward to get away and to really give that ace of wands to somebody who deserves it and ace of pentacles is a new beginning i like and all this happens is when the judgment actually becomes upright that's just how I'm seeing it, guys. Sorry, sorry, Scorpio. It's just realizing who they are and who they're not. And I think you need to erect some strong boundaries because I have a sneaking suspicion when you pull yourself away from an energy like this, they're going to chase and you're going to like it. And you might stop running and turn around and say, oh, hey, hey, you did find me. And then the person goes to you again. <laughs> Because this person might only like a chase. Let's get real. There's a lot of people like that. They like the chase, but they don't like they don't like having to do with anything with their catch, you know? They they just are in a perpetual chasing state. What is the King of Cups and the Judgment Reverse for Scorpio? King of Cups and the Judgment Reverse for the Scorpio. King of Cups and the Judgment Reverse for the Scorpio. King of Cups and the Judgment Reverse for the Scorpio. What is that? What is the King of Cups and the Judgment Reverse doing here? King of Cups and the Judgment Reverse. It's, yeah, the Hierophant. Understanding. This is a higher, higher knowledge. There could also be somebody. You know what I'm getting, actually? Hold on, it could be another card. I'm getting two things. I do feel like if this is work, if you are trying to get to the next level, I, f I just want to say on a side note, you're going to get there. If this is about getting a job, this is just a confirmation for somebody. If you are if you applied for a job, I do feel like you're going to get it. Hierophant is next level, right? But I also feel like this relationship is you're trying to overgive to obtain this Taurus energy. You're trying to obtain this ultimate goal with this person. And I am not getting player vibes. I feel like they could be already married. 
they could be having kids there's just they could have those feelings but they're not the main thing is, is they're not giving back to you the way you've been given to them. They're not doing for you what you've been doing for them. And that's not fair. And when I say it's it's not even close to being equal here. For a nine of pentacles reverse to come out, that's, that's completely drained. And a ten of wands, that's completely burdened by this energy. That's burdening having, it's kind of like you forget why you want it. You're only hanging in there because initially they opened you up maybe to love. They opened you up to a new way of being or a new, like a new path. And believe it or not, Scorpio, I do feel like you're on that path. You don't need this person by your side. You need to follow that path to the person who's really should be by your side, if that makes sense. And you might be hanging in there because you just feel loyal to it, to it, like it's a monster. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, Crosswatcher. Okay, what is this Hierophant? Why is he here? And the Wheel of Fortune. It's time to understand, higher understanding, that what this is and what this isn't. And that is ultimate growth. Two major arcana on this. This is, well, how I look at major arcana in somebody's life is kind of like 90 degree angles. So you're going along this path. Are you making good money? Probably. You're advancing your career. You're doing this. And then somebody comes along and psh, turns you like a connector onto a different area of your life you never thought could be possible and now you don't want to go back in that old path if there's nothing wrong with that path but now you want more of this you get to keep more of that but just keep following that path keep exploring these parts of yourself Scorpio because I do feel like you're going to have something better at the end of that because you're better at the end of that that's why we're all on this earth to constantly better ourselves. Hopefully most of us, not everybody, but most of us are. What is the Ten of Wands reason for the reading? Sagittarius energy. What is the Ten of Wands, the reason for the reading? And the Four of Wands. Trying, it's like you're, <laughs> this person has you doing all the work. They're, I, I wouldn't doubt if there's a Scorpio they, that's been bamboozled to build a house for them. It's like he's carrying the wood for them to build a house that you're not even going to live in. That's kind of this energy. It, it, it's a toxic energy for you. Like I said, th that's the seven of swords reverse. Are they a player? I'm not getting a player, but they are. They are about themselves. They are about what they can get out of people or you to better their lives without knowing they don't really need to give it back to you because you're just going to keep showing up and it's getting harder to, it's getting harder to deal with this now what i just got different storyline with this four of wands and ten of ten of wands is you could be a scorpio that's in a marriage that really judgment reverse you know you need to let it go of maybe you're with somebody who works you work, you, the money's fine. It's not about the money. It's about there's the love is gone. Five of cups reverse. The love is just gone, but he's still focused. I feel like for so, so much time, you've been focused on the past and what, what has hung you in there. For maybe it is kids, it could be kids, but I really think, feel like at this point it would be habit. It'd be memories that keeps you in there. And have you had options? Probably because there's two cups behind him, but he's still focused on trying to get those three cups back. He's trying to get back what he had, holding on to a judgment reverse. And either way, if that's your storyline out there. If you're still with me and that's your storyline out there, Knight of Swords reverse, it ends. But where I was going with it, why it came up is if you're at work, it's kind of like you don't even want to go home. It's a burden to have to make yourself even go home. That's not what home should ever be for anyone. Home should be your, your sanctuary, should be your safe haven, your safety zone. You know, that, that's, that's where you can unload your day. That's when you can be who you are. And it, it may be a burden to come home too. And that's, again, just like in the boundaries, it's kind of like when you have to talk yourself into something, you probably need to let it go. What is the Queen of Pentacles in the past for Scorpio? What's the Queen of Pentacles in the past for Scorpio? It's the Six of Swords. Hmm, Aquarius Energy. What is this? Six of Swords, releasing Four of Pentacles, reverse Knight of Pentacles. I like that. See, but exactly what I said. I do feel like this is the other energy. I mean, I, I actually feel both, but for the most part, I feel the reason why I don't think it's a player because I'm getting an upright queen. She's probably married. You could be either this is your wife 
and you have respect for your wife, but the passion and love may not be gone. And it's like, how do I leave someone? That seems like such a crappy way to leave someone. That is just, I feel like that is actually the minute storyline here, a very small storyline. The main storyline is trying to obtain this person. And what I feel like is you're, you are releasing a horse that is not moving. Knight of Pentacles reverse, four of Pentacles reverse. You're releasing this earth energy is what it is. You could be a Scorpio dealing with an earth energy. This is Virgo and Capricorn again. This is Capricorn. Um, judgment is all of it. King of Cups is you, of course. Five of Cups is you. This is Gemini. Ten of Wands is Sagittarius. Four of Wands is Aries. But you're releasing this earth sign. You're releasing the... You're releasing the the dream or the idea that you can this horse like the reason why they're taking their time is just because they're careful they don't want to make mistakes they have you know they're going to come around it's a slow energy but it's with it being reversed this horse isn't moving and it's time to be like a judgment upright and face the facts that this person just doesn't care as much about you as you about them and i hate that that is really direct but you know what's worse is if this storyline is for one Scorpio out there, I'd hate for you to waste five years on an energy like this when you get to keep going down that path this person brought you to and there's something better for you. Why would you want to miss out on that? Six of Swords is you moving away from them. Aquarius energy. to something better going down your path. But boom, boom, guess what? Either this is new love and I'm kind of feeling like that's the Queen of Pentacles coming back saying, hey, Scorpio, remember me? It is a test. <laughs> I'll tell you that it's a test because as you're in your new beginning, your Ace of Wands, here comes that Queen of Pentacles saying, oh, my cups are looking a little empty these days. I wonder if Scorpio would fill them for me. That's how I'm feeling it. There's the Queen of Wands. There's the Queen of Wands again. I feel like, see, the Queen of Wands was underneath that. I think if this is your story, I think the person's probably attractive, male or female. They use that to their advantage. They they really know how to turn the charm on to get what they want. And is that the type of person you really, that's gaslighting, that's manipulation. Is that the person that you want a four of wands with in the end? Because you'll never know what's real and what's not real. What's the five of cups reverse on your mind? What's the five of cups reverse on Scorpio's mind? Eight of Wands. I love it. You're dumping out that Queen of Pentacles and you're moving on. Just like I said, where was the Nine of Wands? Did I actually pull it? I think it was at the bottom of the deck. So you're no longer reserving those Eight of Wands. You took that Ace of Wands and you just let them fly. And you're running down that path. I don't even think you're walking. I think you're running towards whatever this Two of Cups is. If you realize it or not, there is new love, soulmate, true love at the end of that path. You just have to focus your energy now on yourself. See, the Queen of Pentacles, I love this because I feel like, one, you were trying to obtain this, but you are that too. You are a good catch for somebody else out there. You just need to see your own value. See how she's looking down at the Ace of Pentacles? Or, yeah, Ace of Pentacles. Um, it's reversed now. It means you need to only look at you need to keep your concentration on this Ace of Pentacles. Here the queen is looking at it, but she's too busy, like I said, taking care of a business. She's working, she's taking care of home. You know, just an all around great queen. This is a queen that needs to now look at herself and, and nurture herself and see where this Ace of Pentacles goes. Everybody else around her will be just fine. This is just a sabbatical. This is a sabbatical for a Scorpio out there or someone dealing with a Scorpio. If this is, if you're a cross watcher watching this, this is, a sabbatical for you to find out what is that path for you. What does that path mean for you? Is it new love? Is it an advancement in career? Because don't this is just a, a speed bump or a fall. And, and actually more, more importantly, I think it's a connector. Like I said, it's a 90 degree angle to get you away from a humdrum life into a life that you can dream of, a life you could be proud of, a life that you can't wait to wake up and be in. You know, you can't wait to go to sleep just so you can wake up and be more in it. Um, okay. What is the Knight of Swords reverse in the near future? What is the Knight of Swords reverse in the near future? Gemini energy. Why is that here? The Knight of Swords reverse. Why is the Knight of Swords reverse here? And the Queen of Cups. There's your soulmate. 
It's amazing when you cut off the selfish energy, who is it? Your soulmate, true pair, king. We Look at this, guys. We have a queen of pentacles back here. Then we have you trying to give to that queen of pentacles who's behind you. That's interesting. She's in your past. She or he's in your past. The five of cups is you're staring at the past, waiting for it to jump back into your life. When if you, it was reversed, so you can stare at the new love that's in front of you. This queen of cups is in front of you. I, this could be a man. You could be a woman watching this as a king. You could be a man and a man. You could be a woman and a woman. It's all energies, okay? The, the moral of the story is it's a true pair. We have a queen and king of cups. In between, we have a hierophant and a wheel of fortune. Moving on, and this is marriage. I mean, hierophant could, is definitely long-term commitment, contract, contractual. A lot of people say it's a marriage. It is. Um, it can be. I shouldn't say it is. It can be. But by cutting off what doesn't serve you, erecting those healthy boundaries, going down a path you never thought you'd go, well, look who's at the end in front of you. Keep going, Scorpio. Keep going. That's what I have for you, my loves. I don't even know what to title this. It's going to take me to sit here because this is, this is, <laughs> this is, this is a great reading, but you know, it's, some of these are tricky to title. Okay, my loves, I hope you guys have a great week, a great new year. I may or may not see you this weekend. I pray well because I think I'm going to do either way a new year's reading, but okay, you have a great week. Take care.